Okay, every now and again I'm going to do a video uh, on atheist stupid objections, statements, or arguments, and I have not cataloged them. I do come across different things that just irk me, and I'm like, oh, what the heck are you guys thinking uh, from time to time? Sometimes I write them down, sometimes I don't, but I, I figure if I just make a video every now and again uh, and title them video one, two, three successively, then uh, after a course of time we'll have a, a whole series going here. But anyway, uh, this video, there I'll deal with two different statements. One I dealt with recently where a guy was saying, uh, you know, if this is your God, if he's the one who sends people to hell just for this, that, and the other thing, or, you know, uh, all the evil in the world, if that's your God and he's in sovereignly control, then I don't want to serve a God like that. I'd rather go to hell. Um, that's what he told me. Uh, but <laughs> that's a really retarded comeback. Um, I mean, if, if the reason you don't want to serve him is because of the evil in the world, well, then that's all the more reason to serve him. You know? <laughs> Because if you don't, you're going to be dealing with that evil that you have a problem with, including your own evil, for all of eternity. But if you do serve him, then that would solve the issue that you're so angry about. You know, not only just temporally, but eternally. <laughs> okay? So it makes no sense for you to, you know, have some sort of beef with that issue. Uh, second of which, I find it highly disingenuous when they make that statement anyway, because Really, they only have a problem with certain other evils uh, in other people's lives, other people who wrong them, other things they see overseas with children starving and whatnot. But they don't ever have a problem with their own evil. No, 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 no. That they uh, want to indulge in. In fact, if God were to prevent that evil, they would now have a problem with good. Anytime they wanted to look at pornography, if God caused their vision to go blurry or blind, you know, I think they would uh, really get upset with God for cramping their style. Uh, if every time they wanted to curse somebody out and, and just maybe sling uh, hateful words at somebody, God caused their vocal cords to be inoperable, same thing would happen. They would get pissed off at that and uh, not like God for, for infringing on their supposed freedom. Okay, so don't ever say, oh, I would never serve a God like that because of evil, when you, in fact, are a part of that equation, and <laughs> you would rather go to hell, which is where the, uh, the, the evil in its fullness, undiluted, is going to exist, quarantined away from uh, anything, uh, any other existence, forever, well, then you're, you're being counterintuitive in your whole... Uh, you know, statement. Think it through a little bit more, okay? That's number one. And the second one is uh, <clears throat> something I dealt with on Pal Talk here recently where this guy said, uh, I forget what in response to, but, oh, why don't you just think for yourself? You Christians don't think for yourself. Why don't you think for yourself? Well, first of all, I gotta say that everyone does think for themselves. They can't but not do that. Uh, <laughs> even if in that thinking, the person decides to follow someone else's line of thinking, they are still doing that thinking, okay? Um, you know, should I be a free thinker like you told me to be, or should I go my own way? Seems like if I'm doing that, uh, then I'm not really free in, by your definition. <laughs> but this is just childish rebelliousness, a sort of anarchist way of thinking, which is nothing new. There's nothing new under the sun, and it is just as a packaged way of thinking as anyone else's, okay? Uh, secondly, though, you have to deal with the fact that we are all finite, in which case we could never even come close to doing all of our own thinking. <laughs> I mean, we have to, basically almost everything, I would say, if you really uh, break it all down, what, where we learn our things from, uh, be it from books or oral, which came from books. The point is, we have tons and tons and tons of things that we take by authority. Okay? Be it the authority of God's Word, be it the authority of some science textbook, it doesn't matter. We're taking most of what we know, I would say, by authority. Um, and I told this guy on Pal Talk, uh, you know, if, if you are the only one thinking for you, then you are in trouble. 
because his brain was not too sharp and so I felt sorry for him if he was the only one doing his thinking for him. Um, also though, they, they make this statement as some sort of, you know, elitist, snobber, snobbish uh, attack, you know. Like, you, you, they are the free thinkers and you are just some mindless peasant sort of thing. But the reality of the situation is that the only free thinkers out there are regenerated Christians. Because in order to be free, you need to be in the truth. The truth is what sets you free. All unbelievers basically uh, live in not just moral darkness, but intellectual darkness as the Bible teaches. And that is why they are such fools as Psalms 14 testifies to. So that's just a couple of them. I'll have more coming as the, the days go by, months go by. Peace.